Well, I think everybody, Kelly, has to just take a step back. Like the last segment, you're talking about the banks. I mean, the financial uh, se uh, segment is very strong. You look at the financials, and that's just proved by what the feds did two weeks ago. In the light of, of Silicon Valley Bank and Signature, they raised interest rates. They would not have raised it 25 basis points if they thought the financial system was in, in, in any shape that was going to get hurt. So, but there's a lot of a uh, lot of issues that are going on, a lot of things that are being said. But the bottom line is, our financial system's in good shape, our markets are in good shape, the consumers in good shape. There's tons of cash on the side. There's seven trillion dollars in cash on the S and P 500 balance sheets. There's over five trillion dollars in cash in money market funds. There's a, over a trillion dollars in cash in personal savings accounts. Where'd all this money come from and where is it gonna to continue to come from? Most of it is all from everybody's being employed that wants to be employed. Companies are making money. Earnings are gonna be down approximately 6% this year. So what, Kelly? There's <laughs> companies that are still cash flowing at huge numbers and putting money in the bank and looking at the same time to cost savings. So I'm not sure why everybody gets panicked, but it, you know, it's sort of like the pandemic's over, but it's still in the back of people's minds. And so they're jumping from one thing to another. When the reality is situation, if you buy quality and you hang on to it, you're going to be fine through whatever crisis you think is happening out there. Yeah, I mean, you know, even just to quote Ed Hyman, there's a few different people out there, Neil, who are really good on, you know, looking through some of the leading indicators and things. And they're like, guys, this crash could be harder than expected. The idea that we'd go you know, soft landing, mild recession, nobody knows. It, 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 we're going to tip over here. And I'm not saying that's not going to be a good opportunity to buy stocks, but I can absolutely understand why people are concerned. And I would hardly expect the Fed to be ahead of that. They're always behind. They overreact one way. They overreact another way. They're all focused on lagging data. They're never ahead of the ball. Well, I can see that. But, you know, if you look back a couple of years ago, everybody was, I guess, hoping that the feds were going to keep interest rates at zero. And everybody knew at some point in time they were going to go up. That, you know, you look at Silicon Valley Bank, you look at Signature, those were just mismanaged. But same crisis that we had going back to 2008 and nine. If you look at it, Kelly, did anybody have a problem cashing a check? Anybody getting cash at a bank have a problem? Did your debit card not work? I mean, come on. So when you, everybody's focused on this banking issue, when it really isn't an issue. But if you focus in, and, and one thing I've always said, and Kelly, you know I've always said, if you buy high-quality companies, and most likely if they're boring, sort of like a coin-operated laundromat, because right. you've never seen a sign outside a coin-operated laundromat going out of business, those companies tend to perform over time, little by little by little, and, and, and they make the investor, the end user, a lot of money.